if you're going to Walt Disney World for the day, do you want to spend a half hour waiting in line at the entrance mm -hmm. to get in and pay your money? No, you want to book in advance. You want to get a magic band. You want to walk up, go ding, boom, you're in, right? So the right. service aspects of the experiences are should be time well set. Because all of this is, if, if you got any uh, technology leaders, right? This is a stack, right? The, this progression of economic values, I call it, is a stack. And that experiences are, the layer of experiences are built on top of the layer of services. You can't have experiences without having uh, services. And you want those service aspects to be time well uh, saved. Services you can't create without goods, you know, whether they're the, the, the uh, tables and chairs at a, at a cafe or a restaurant. Uh, the dry clean equipment in a, in, a, in a laundry facility or whatever they might be. You have to have goods. You build surround those goods with the service activities of using those goods on behalf of the, the customer. And goods, of course, are made out of commodities, right? So they're all of a, a, a stack like that. And so, so the, the line that I draw between services and experiences is that time well saved versus time well spent. Right. Services, goods, commodities, time well saved. Experiences, time well spent. And, and, I, and I will make a quick aside, which is, in fact, though, many of the goods that we buy are to enable the experiences that we have. Right. I'm playing golf this afternoon. Well, I've got golf clubs and the golf clubs enable me to play that experience. You go surfing, you have a surfboard. So so just a vast majority of goods we buy, in fact, are for the services that they enable. Um and, uh, and so there's, the, the, there's one level below that that I don't usually draw in that way, uh, and that's time wasted, right? The worst thing you can do is waste your customer's time, right? And companies do that all the time. You know, by, uh, you, you, you call up a call center. This happened to me just the other day, right? I called up a call center. It asked me, it asked me to provide my account information, right, so they could identify me, even my address and that. And the voice response unit specifically said, so we can pass it on to the representative. But I get to the representative, what's the first thing they asked me for? <laughs> right? For Is all that information they gave. Yeah. And I specifically said, I already told, told, gave that information. They said they pass it on to you. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't have, I'm like, just like wasting my time to do that over again. Or you, you, you go to a doctor's appointment or hospital. The first thing they do is they give you a form to fill out of information they already have. Right. right. You're, you're the same thing. So yes. you've got to stop wasting customers' time, and and uh, and then you turn that into time well saved, right? Then you've got time well spent. Uh, and again, that's the, the 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 province of experiences. Ideally, you are charging for the time because you are what you charge for. If you charge for undifferentiated stuff, you're in the commodities business. If you charge for tangible things, you're in the goods business. If you charge for the activities your people perform on behalf of the customer or the client, then you're in the services business. But economically, you're in the experience business if and only if you charge for time, right? Because that's what people value. And so you, I always use Starbucks as a great example because you can see the coffee progression. It starts off as a commodity worth two or three cents per cup, turn it into a good that you buy at the grocery store worth five, 10, 15 cents per cup. You go to a vending machine or a corner diner, or bodega 7-Eleven somewhere, and now you're paying 50 cents, dollar or two per cup. But you you buy that cup and spend time in the ambience and theater of a Starbucks, and now you're spending four, five, six dollars per per cup of coffee. But Starbucks charges gives away the experience to better sell the coffee, right? They they charge a premium for it. But eventually, you have to align what you charge for with what your customers value, and that is the time that they spend with you. That's that time well spent aspect. 